Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on Apache Spark for ETL. I'm Madhuri Chha, a DevOps specialist at Thinknix Technologies. In this video, we will be diving into the fundamentals of Apache Spark, specifically focusing on how it can be used for ETL process. Before moving further, here's what we will cover in this video tutorial. What is ETL and why it is important? The key features of Spark and how it fits into the ETL pipeline. Next, we'll understand the role of HDFS, Hadoop and the cloud storage in data processing. Let's start with the theory behind ETL and how Apache Spark plays a role in modern data analytics. What is ETL? Extract data from various sources. Transform or clean, filter, and structure the data to match requirements. Load the transformed data into target systems such as database or data warehouse. ETL is the backbone of data integration and analytics. It helps us take data from different sources, process it, and then store it for further analysis. Apache Spark is a powerful tool that can efficiently handle all three phases of ETL, especially for big data. Now let's understand ETL process with a flow diagram. We connect to data sources like CSV files, databases, or even real-time streams. Using Spark's built-in functions, we clean, filter, and enrich the data and transform it. Finally, we load the processed data into the storage system like Parquet files that can store structured data in column format. HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System, or even Cloud Storage. Now let's take a look at the key features of Apache Spark that make it a perfect choice for handling ETL tasks. Spark can process large data sets in parallel making it suitable for both small and massive datasets. It performs data processing in memory, which leads to much faster execution times compared to traditional disk-based systems. Spark provides fault tolerance by automatically recovering lost data and processing tasks, making it reliable in production environments. Spark can easily integrate with Hadoop ecosystems, including HDFS, to read and write data. Now let's dive a bit deeper into HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System, and its association with Apache Spark, especially when dealing with cloud storage. What exactly is HDFS? HDFS is a distributed file system designed to store large volumes of data across multiple nodes in a Hadoop cluster. It is optimized for high throughput access to large datasets. Apache Spark can read and write data to HDFS, making it an excellent choice for big data processing. When your data is stored in the cloud or on a Hadoop cluster, Spark allows you to access the data efficiently. Now let's understand the integration of Apache Spark with cloud storage. Cloud providers like AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, and Google Cloud Storage provide scalable solutions for storing massive amounts of data. Spark can access and process data stored on those cloud storage systems just like it would be with HDFS making Spark a great option for cloud-native big data applications. That's all for today's session. In this video, we have covered the ETL process and how it fits into data analytics, key features of Apache Spark and its use in ETL workflows, the integration of HDFS and cloud storage for large-scale data processing, Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials on Apache Spark and Big Data.